In one of my last videos, I described an 1800 on chess.com. The point of the video was to teach you and give you the information you needed to do the same thing too. Now, a guy replied, seeing that 1800s are not like him and usually they ask longer. So the point of this video is see that if his theory is at the correct, or if I can destroy another 1800. So let's jump into the game and figure it out. And here we go, I'm here with the second account, so let's see if I can find someone rated around 1800. 1821, perfect, and we are playing as white. Now honestly, I don't remember what I played last time. I mean, if I remember if I played as black or white, I think as black though. So this is perfect. Alright, to play the Sicilian, we play knight on f3. Right now, he's not losing. And to give you this, he's not losing. So let's play bishop b5. And see. Now this is the Rossolimo. This is, I think, already not correct. The point is that we are going to take anyway. So why would you play a6? We are just wasting time. So we take. But why do we want to take? The point of taking in a position like this is that we want to damage our opponent's structure. So in this case, as you can see, he has an isolated pawn. This pawn is pretty weak. So we definitely have an edge in a position like this. Now, we are not really scared about the push d5 because we always have the move d3. So if they take, I mean, they are left with the terrible pawns. So I think I can just castle. Now, I have to be fair, I don't have a ton of experience in the Rosolimo because it is an opening that I started playing uh, not a while ago. So I definitely need to get better at it. So an idea is to play queen on e2. I have to say rook on e1 is not bad as well. I actually don't see why not to play rook on e1. Rook on e1 seems like a really logical option. So look on you one, what is the idea? If you want to play this d5 stuff, in the future I may take, I don't really want to take now, but you know, in the future I might want to take. Okay, the point of uh, queen on e2 was that if he plays this, I'm going to take with the queen. Even though I had to say, I can play this anyway. Like I can play the anyway. And the point is that if you take, this is winning for me. I mean, the end game we reach is, in, is winning for me. So I still think rookie one is not imprecise. Should be fine. Should be pretty fine, to be honest. Now, I guess you might want to play d4, because if you play d4, at least, you know, I don't have the chance to, to take or do some stupid stuff. What can I do now? An idea could be c4. c4 is definitely an idea in order, you know, to... Put even more pressure on the position, and I definitely don't see why not. C4 just makes sense in my opinion. Has to be good. Again, you don't really want to take, so the best move is definitely mm, to push. Okay, if you play this, E5 is always an idea. In some position, you want to play H4 and H5, but I don't think in this case is what we want to do, to be fair. So let me think about it. E5 seems logical. Like e5, I don't see why it shouldn't be good. e5 just makes sense in my opinion. So yeah, I'm just going to play e5. Now, as I said, this pawn is weak, so we might want to target it in some way. But right now, I don't see a clear way to do that. Okay, we could play knight c3, knight f4, then b3, and bishop pawn in 3, but I don't think this pawn is going to fall. Because you also can defend the pawn with the queen. So I don't think the best idea in this case is try to go for that pawn. I think the best idea in this case is just developing pieces. If you push, I have a great outpost for the knight. So pushing is definitely not scary. Taking is losing. And I'm just saying, well, I'm better. And let's play a game. I think... This is pretty much the idea. So what can I do now? Queen on a4 looks... Looks decent. Looks decent. I wonder if it is actually necessary though. Because I don't think so. 
you can definitely defend after they play that but what can i do i guess i'm just going to develop the bishop so bishop on a four cannot be a bad move like there is no way this is a bad move just has to make sense and eventually i might play queen on e2 queen on c2 or queen on e4 as i said all right i have to give credit to my commenter this guy is still not losing it's definitely worse but he's still not losing so in this case using basics obviously helps you but it's not going to let you win now obviously i was aware of that but the point of that video was just to give you enough knowledge to have pretty much zero problems in the opening also to be fair this is Ilian is the defense that even if you mess up you cannot play it a lot of time you're still going to get a decent position because it is the, the Sicilian what can I say it is just broken for no reason it should be nerfed I agree on that it should be fucking nerfed it doesn't make any sense it should be that lost but it's not and even if, if it is it's not easy to see the way to win you know because you need to play some really positional stupid stuff but yeah me and, and the Sicilian are not good dance let's say this let's say this okay age four age five is an idea although i lose the pawn we don't see two might be an idea this might be an idea but also doesn't make any sense because literally what will be the point i think i got an idea and i'm going to play a4 it is that i want to play a5 so if i manage to play a5 there is always the idea to play knight on a4 and uh, have a really good outpost for my knight obviously we are not going to get that so now i have to think about something else now this is a new weakness but we also have a weakness we need to keep it in mind if i play this you can just play this for example so it doesn't make any sense if i play rook on a3 <laughs> with the idea of playing the three, i am a grandmaster although i don't see or at least i don't understand if that doesn't make sense or not yeah and we get a difficult position obviously i guess i'm just going to play bit d and chill what is the idea if you want to play rook on b8 i just have rook on b1 and i'll figure it out later you still have the weaknesses it's not that you don't have them now what i want to do is do something with the queen or do something with the rook 1800s or 1700s have different you know there is the one who is terrible with the opening there is the one who is a god in the opening then you reach the end game and blunders the queen and there are the ones that play overall well but it's nothing crazy like this guy will say the opening is decent the way he's playing is decent but it's nothing crazy with this i'm not going to say that it's bad i'm just going to say that it depends on the way they play it is easier to punish them or it's not easy to punish them like in this case it's not so easy to punish him like i kind of punished him but not even that much okay let me play queen d2 now this does nothing except i mean giving us an advantage to be fair so bishop on a6 i don't know how sensible it is like i don't see why it should make sense because i don't think it does i would love to have a knight on b3 but as you can see i can't this might be an idea but uh, the point i actually saying that what my opponent did made sense let me play queen c2 what is the idea now it is that i want to play bishop on d2 i move the knight somewhere and i can play queen on c3 going for this weakness because it's not easy to defend now this is a terrible move in fact because you give me this with with tempo <laughs> now you, you, you need to get the fuck out like this is quite a terrible move cannot be a good one so bishop d2 i mean i'm threatening this so you need to move the queen somewhere obviously not on a3 I mean if you still want to keep the queen at least if you don't want the queen okay you can put the queen on it so now you need to go back exactly 
So I basically gained a tempo doing this. I can go for this plan, but it just, you know, it is the same position, but my bishop instead of being on f4 is just on, on d2. So let's see. I could the without the knight on many ways. A2 is stupid. By the way, I don't have time, so I think I should shut up and play. Let me play. Let me play. Let me play. Let me play. This. I just move the knight and I want to do without it this way eventually. Or even on GD. Let's say if he plays d4, I can play knight gd and knight d4. Has to be a sensible move. No, this is coming. If you're not careful, uh, it's not easy to defend. Now, there is a way to defend. Looks stupid, but I mean, if it does its job, it does its job. Now you want to open the position. I don't agree with this choice. Because now you give me new weaknesses. Yeah, I really should stop talking. Like, I don't have time anymore. I mean, I cannot lose this game, right? Otherwise, I look like a clown, I guess. Now, this bishop does nothing. Does literally nothing. I'm not going to put a rook there. Or the queen. The queen is good where it is. Really? I mean, he's, he's risking it. He's really risking it. I'm not sure <laughs> what he's doing right now. Like you see, now we reach a complicated part of the middle game. Let's say, let's say, kind, kind of, I mean, close to late middle game where your opponent start playing actually like a real 1800 and blunder stuff, I guess. Okay. First of all, we take the bishop. Cannot be wrong. Now we attack the rook. Could have played this. But I saw I saw this move the second I played this. Obviously. So what can I say? It's life. Let's move the bishop out of the way. Why not? I mean you can make a pass pawn, which is terrible. You can make a terrible pass pawn. That's what you can do. You put in pressure. Okay, that's what I figured. And I also thought this was bad. Which it is, although, although I don't know if I am in time to do anything. In order to punish this. I can definitely play this. Fixing the pawn on, on the right square. If you play this, I just win the pawn. I'm not scared about that move. And I'm going to play the Coney one. If you play these, you lose. Time to play Queens. Because I'm low on time. I guess I don't even get to play Queens. He blundered these, of course. 51 seconds, I don't have time to think, basically. Like, I, I cannot, I cannot think. I'm going to win the pawn, though. I'm not that shy. Go back. I mean, they know does nothing, but... I'm cooking. Let me cook. I basically play better for, uh, with, with such low time, somehow. I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. Take this in the face. Take this in the face. This claps the queen. If you play this, I play this. This is a cool way to remove two defenders at once, though, I have to say. Please think some more time. Please think some more time, because I have 20 seconds. Good job. Good job, I like it. Keep thinking. Keep thinking. Such a difficult position. You should really think in this position. You should really think. 
That's what insane. You should really think like I can't even find a decent move. You should really think. Keep thinking. Not going to complain. I guess it is a fair, a fair guy, you know, and wants to play with at the same time as mine. But it is connected. Like, what are you doing? Just play. Just move. Just move the queen. Literally, just move the queen. Or just you know, play this. Oh, come on, play. I don't want to win like this. No, I guess I'm going to win like this. So all my video doesn't make any sense because I cannot show if I would have actually won or not. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. You know what? I'm not going to make another video again. So I think I... I think I show something. That, that guy had the point. Not all 1800s are as bad as the one I played. Although, a lot of them make mistakes in the opening. And if you follow basics, I'm not going to say you can win every time or you're going to win every time. But you are definitely going to have zero problems, at least in the opening. That's what I want you to understand. At least in the opening. Of course, in the middle game and in the end game is different. For the middle game, I made, you know, some videos on how to find plants if you are interested. And for the end game, I just made a new video. So if you want to check it out, it should be around, you know, close, close to my head, close to my head, definitely. So let's check in analysis real quick. So yeah, as you can see, this game wasn't perfect for me. I am totally aware of, uh, of that, but let's see what I did wrong. So yeah, okay, this is theory, but it's almost plus one. So I mean, a, a book move if you know what you're doing, because this is bad. Like I want to take anyway, it didn't make any sense. Okay, now the move is did the look you no, okay, look you one is not, but it's still fine. E5, you can play. Oh yeah, and done, B5. E5, it is good in this case. Apparently, it's not. Deeply. Do you like E5 or not, Stockfish? Do you actually like it or not? Deeply or deeply? Ah, uh, makes sense. Look, you only sensible though. Deeply. C4. I just played sensible moves. Like, these are not bad. I'm almost plus one anyway. I didn't lose advantage in any way okay this was stupid because after they play a5 i actually give them something i actually give them a weakness and i i mean this is not really a weakness there isn't a clear way to attack it so yeah this was stupid apparently i should have played knight on d2 or look on c1 just developing <sighs> this sicilian doesn't make any sense doesn't make any sense. But yeah, I mean, I'm just... I'm just slightly better for all the game. Now definitely much better because this doesn't make any sense. You're just creating new weaknesses every time you push a pawn. Like basically, as black, what you should do is, is nothing and hope that white is not a positional god and is going to beat you. But yeah, this is a cool position where I'm like plus two. Now I play this because I know a long time. There is definitely something better. I know this wasn't the best move. But yeah, overall it was a good game. In fact, I mean, in this case, I got penalized by the opening because I'm bad against the, the Sicilian. And despite the fact it was much better, it is not so clear to see why. I played a really good move, so I saw why at this point I'm much better because there is queen c2, uh, in rook d1, you know, you have all your pieces on a really bad spot, as, as I said, probably rook d8, uh, queen d8, queen d7, rook d7 were good moves. At this point you still have rook d1, but I don't know, there might be a way to win this pawn, but I don't think so. The problem is that the, the pony is on lie square. 
Although I still have a pawn, so I could play something like this and better push my pawn in some way. So he's saying rook c1, queen c1, rook d1. And maybe I shouldn't think about this pawn and I should try to find another plan. So yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have something to say or have any suggestion, please let me know in the comment and see you soon with the next video.